Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Faitchick 777 and today I'm coming at you with a project that I have made for entry into the Wild Orchid Crafts design team. So I'm going to get my sign out of the way so we can get started. And then I'm going to move my camera. I'm just going to start slowly moving it up so you can kind of get the project as a whole. What I've done is created a mini album. There's my mini album as a whole. And as you can see, I've got my mini album on a little stand right here. And this little stand I just found at a garage sale, it actually holds candles. But I took the candles off because it's got these great little swirlies here that are kind of raised up so they act like stoppers and hold my album in. And then the stand already had kind of these fabric little roses on here. So what I've done is just added some Wild Orchid Crafts in the center of it. Um, some of their roses. And these are the one and a half inch um, classic sweet roses. And then these are the um, large wild rose buds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my album off the stand. So give me just a minute here. And then I'll move my stand to the back. And then I'll adjust my camera so that we can get a good look at the album and I can go page by page. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. Okay, now the papers I have used here... Um, is the die cuts with a view the French country stack? I have used glitz, the pretty and pink, and then I believed I used some of the antiquities uh, paper line, just a couple of sheets off that. And then the base of my album is actually this um, three piece wall hanging set, a little frame, and it kind of looks something like this. And it's got these curly cues on it. Two sheets or two pages of it have the curly cue, and then one page is just plain square, but it's made out of wood. And so this is what the base of my album looks like, okay? So I just kind of wanted to show you that because it'll be hard to see with all the decoration on it, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move in a little bit closer. Bring my camera down a little bit. And then we'll get started on the album. Now I've bound the album just with some sheer ribbon. And as you ladies and gents know, I like to make my albums a little bit chunky. So it is chunky, but not too bad. Normally, you know, a lot of times, uh, ladies and gents, my album's up like this. Well, it actually is pretty well, you know, um, closed straight across. It's pretty much the same width straight across. So I did good on this one. Woo! Woo! Okay. Anyway, so here is the front of my album. Now, the whole album, I have painted the whole thing, and I crackled it, and then I um, added texture on all of it with um, that spackle um, that I got from Home Improvement Store. And um, I have a video out on that if you haven't seen that. There's just a um, less expensive way to add some texture, okay? Um, and and dries very quickly within about 5-10 minutes um, on this album. For a large project, it can take longer, but this album, it was dry within about 10 minutes. Um, okay, so, and as you can see, here is the curly cue of the first page of the album. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of open it up here, and we'll kind of start from the left-hand side... Now, every, all the papers and everything on here, I've distressed all the edges. I've inked all the edges with color box chalk ink. I like to ink with that um, um, ink. I like to distress with that ink. And then I've done sewing on everything and all the paper, all the edges, tags, everything I have in here, I've done sewing on. So we'll start over here on the left edge. I'll bring it in a little bit closer. And you can kind of, you can see my crackle going on on the frame and then all my uh, texture. So down this left side, I have just some doily in the back. This is about a half inch wide. This is a real pretty um, white eyelet lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. And as we go down, this is one of their um, ivory crown pins, which I just, I love these crown pins with the little um, metal um, decoration on them. Just love them. Uh, and then this is just a big bobble I got. And then as we go down the line, this first rose is the um, one and a half inch rose. Okay, and then all the all my roses are either in white or ivory, and then if I there are different color on here is because I've sprayed them with Lindy Stamp Gang, and then also all the roses I have um, edged um, the tops of them with white ribbon buff, and I used white ribbon buff throughout this album. So as we go down the line, large rose. This is a smaller rose. This is the one inch rose. Okay, 
these little ones behind this transparency and all throughout this little um, spray I've got going on here is the little 3 8 inch roses. And then this is a dice I've tucked in there in a wooden spring. Now I've added the number 2 kind of throughout the album because this is a... Um, romantic album you ladies and gents know how I like to do shabby chic romantic so um, and I'm gonna have pictures of my husband and I in this album so I've got the number two is representing both of us and then I've got stuff to do with clocks in here because you know how I love time so um, down again back to the spray some more wild orchid crafts um, the one inch these are the um, the large wild rosebuds again more flowers, more little flowers all tucked inside right behind the Tim Holtz film strip ribbon. Down in the corner, I have got throughout the album these um, metal filigree um, corners from Wild Orchid Crafts, and they are actually silver. And I have um, took Rub and Buff white over the top of them to change it up a little bit, give a little shabby chic look to it. Okay. We'll go back up to the top. These are just some letters from chipboard letters from Basic Grade that I've used um, the Rub and Buff on. Again, another corner. Underneath this um, word, I have stamped actually the word love. And it was too flat. So, and I wanted a little more dimension to it. So what I've done is, you know when you have stamps and they come on a little transparency sheet with the design printed on the sheet. They're stuck to these little um, transparencies here. So what I did is I actually cut out the sheet. Uh, the part of this transparency that this love word was on and up above on it it also had these little um, prints on it from another stamp that's in the set but I went ahead and left them on there because I just thought it added great texture this love and I love you so that's what I've done and I just glued it to where I stamped underneath so I hope that's understandable but I just thought it added some great texture, added some little gems. And then throughout the album, I've got a lot of die cuts here. Um, they're from the London Market line. This is just a piece of um, a poetry of an old book that I took out. I just thought it was real pretty because it talked about the perfume of your soul and stuff like that. A little bit more distressing down on the bottom. Lots of layers. Most of my pages have three, four layers, sometimes five layers of paper here. And then we're going to go over to the side. So from the curly cue hanging down here, what I did is I have a um, wooden heart that I crackled and added um, um, texture to. And then hanging, I hung it from this little swirly here with wire and I just curled it up. You can see how I just curled it up through the holes of, of the swirl and through the hole of the heart. So it just kind of hangs. But I wanted it to still be stable so when I flip the page. So what I did, you can see I've hooked it to the actual page itself. I took half of a um, hinge, half of a lock hinge. Okay. And then what I did is, and I add a little rub and buff to it. And then I glued it to a Tim, Col Tim Holtz clock, and I left the opening where this would normally be um, hooked onto a little knob. I left the opening on the number two there, so I hope that's understandable. So it's like half of a hinge glued to a Tim Holtz clock, and then showing the number two visible on the clock. And then over on the heart, I've got, again, another um, um, crown pin here with some little uh, gems on it and then little sheer ribbon and then I've got a little spring there and here again is another little 3 8 inch rose and then this is a little 1 inch rose here and then down below the heart I have hanging a metal number 2 from Tim Holtz so I hope that's easy to see I'll turn a little bit so you can kind of see the whole ensemble so there is that first page all right, so I'm going to flip it over. The backs of most of these pages, I didn't put a lot of embellishing on them because that's where I'm going to put a photo. So we'll start here. Again, this is the back. You can see the swirly on it. Over to this side. And what I did on the back of this heart is I just stamped today, tomorrow, and always. Now here you can really see the crackle really good in the texture. And then I just added a couple more um, small 3 8 inch um, Wild Orchid Crafts flower here, the one inch. And then this is just a little um, clay rose I made. I learned from Annie, Miss Garden Grove one. And then I added a little spring. Okay. And then on to this side, this is, I've just done some layering of some papers. I added a little Heidi Swap um, transparency clock. These are actual clock hands. And they're not glued, they're only um, glued down with a little gem brad here so that I could um, slip. See if I can do it one-handed. Nope. Okay, I'm going to try and hold it. I can slip a photo. There we go. 
underneath. There we go. I can slip a photo underneath. Anything that I have that says postcard, any of the antiquities paper says postcards where I intend to put a photo. So I can just kind of slip a photo right down underneath that. Okay. And then underneath that, um, with along with my layering paper, I've got another little doily here. Okay, then on to this page. This is a fabric page. It's a pre-made page. It is actually from a fabric album um, put out by Prima. And all I did is, um, it is actually was sewed in blue thread. So I took the whole thread out and I re-sewed it so it would match with just a, um, you know, the thread I've been using throughout the album, a real light brown. And then I um, textured it and everything and added rub, rub and buff over it. So down this left side, I've added just some lace from my stash and a little bit doily right here. Here's another Wild Orchid Crafts head pin with some gems on it. This is a little love charm. I've just added um, white rub and buff too. And then going down the line, this is a little one inch Wild Orchid Crafts. And then we've got the one and a half inch classic rose. Okay. And then over to this side, this is just a transparency I've made off my computer. I got the idea from an ad I saw in a magazine of this um, neat poster you could buy. So um, I used some of the lines from it and then I added some myself. But I just love what it says because it says, You are the cheese to my macaroni. You are the horizon to my sky. You are the bacon to my eggs. You are the jelly to my peanut butter. You are the smile to my face. You are the gravy to my mashed potatoes. You are the milk to my chocolate chip cookies. You are the ink to my pen. You are the ketchup to my french fries. You are the milk to my cereal. You are the frosting to my cake. You are the water to my ocean. You are the beat to my heart. You are the earth in my world and you are the eternity to my forever. I know, right? Isn't that sweet? I just love it. It's funny and sweet at the same time. So anyway, I printed that off my computer, did a little sewing on it, of course. And then down here in the corner, I've added another Wild Worker Crafts Metal Filigree. I love these corners. They're just, they're just beautiful. I just love them. They add such a classic touch. Okay, so then on the back of this um, fabric page, what I've done is I've taken, let me take these out real quick. I've taken a doily and kind of wrapped it around the page and created like a little pocket here, as you can see. And then the doily has nice large um, openings in it. So what I did in the corners, I threaded some ribbon through it. And then I added three of the little Wild Worker Crafts 3 8 inch roses here. And then down in the corner, I added a little um, metal filigree corner so it makes like just a little cute triangular pocket. Okay, and then you can get a good look at how I um, added texture to the fabric and everything. And then inside the pocket, I've got some die cuts throughout the album. These are from the London Market line, so that goes in there. And then this is just a Prima journal card that I've, you know, distressed and added stuff through. And then this is just a little, um, I can't remember the name of this one. It's just a little book of um, hearts, journaling heart paper. It says always and forever, of course, as you can see. And then I just added, this is from 29th Street Markets from my stash, my mind's eye, just a little kind of a date tag in there. Okay. All right. So then on to the next page. Let me try and bring it so there we go so it's kind of separate so a lot of layering on this one I think I've got one two three four sheets and two die cuts on this on this page but um, I really just am like having fun with this texture stuff it's pretty much going on everything I'm just in the texture mode so I just think it gives it just such a, sha a shabby chic look to it so anyway, so we'll kind of start um, in this corner. Underneath here, you can kind of see some of, there's like right in here is another journal card from um, London Market, Pink Paisley. And um, this is um, from my mind's eye. It's a little journal card you can kind of see down here. Um, this is another Wild Worker Crafts Metal Filigree Corner. This is a mold that I made of a stamp that I had. So did that and I just um, glimmer misted it, Lindy Stamp Gang, and then added some um, rub and buff over the top. This large metal too I got from just Walmart. It's just, you know, those house numbers you can buy. Underneath here I've got a Tim Holtz clock. This is just another wooden heart that I've crackled, added texture to, and stamped on it. As you can see, my whole heart for my whole life. And then down at the bottom, I have just scrunched up some ribbon. This is um, ribbon that I got, this crinkly ribbon that I got from Jewels at the Jewel Box. And then this is, again, that uh, 
real pretty eyelet trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. I just kind of scrunched it all the way across the bottom. Underneath the two, I've got hanging a little um, key charm. Okay, and then right here also at the bottom of the two, I've got a little spring and then the little one inch Wild Orchid Craft flower. Uh, two of them here. And then this is, um, with my order that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts, they just sent a little free package of just um, mulberry paper blooms. So I took two of them and I crunched them up. And then I took one of their little crown pins, as you can see, and I cut the whole bottom off and then I just glued the top part inside the flower. So that's how I created that. Just thought I'd add a little fun, um, different flower here. And then this is just a little tiny light bulb I got tucked in there and then a forever stamp right here along the bottom. Okay, now let me set this down. We'll flip over to the back. This is again another spot where I can put some more pictures, done a lot of uh, layering and texturing. This is a little doily I had in my stash. Um, this is postcard again from the antiquities line. This is just from a set of um, journal tags that I have. I can't remember the brand, I'm sorry about that. This is a little um, music note um, um, pin or whatever. And so underneath there and then this is just a little die cut clock that I got from our local um, scrapbook store here paper clip that's what I was looking for and then so then what I can do is just right underneath the paper clip I can just tuck in a photo like that and of course my photos will be a little bit smaller so they'll fit in my spot so there's that page that's my little photo page and then on to the last page here a lot going on on this one. I'm going to take the tags out so you can kind of see the page as a whole. So I've got a lot of layering and stuff like that. Over here I've got some more um, um, vintage doily over here. We'll go. We'll start over here with the curlicue. On the curlicue I have hung like a little bit of white chain and a couple of charms, a heart and a key. And that is hooked, comes down and hooked to this fence that I have made. I'll be coming out with that tutorial soon. So this is a fence that I made. I've added texture to it, and then I've added white ribbon buff. And then through the fence, I have just woven some lace that I had in my stash. And then also I um, weaved the little 3 8 inch uh, Wild Orchid Crafts roses coming up through there, so it just looked like it was kind of, you know, growing through the fence. Okay. And then over at the end of this left end on the fence, I have made just a sheer um, ribbon bow. I tucked in a little... Um, Wild Orca Crafts crown pin and a couple of gems and a little heart charm hanging there again. And this is a little one inch uh, rose. This is a one another one of my clay roses I've made. And then this is another little three eighth inch rose from Wild Orca Crafts. And then hanging from that in the center is a little Tim Holtz number two. Okay, and then inside I have made the fence so it will act like a pocket. So then inside the pocket I've created some, this is a little photo mat. So you put a little photo inside here. This one is also, again, another little photo mat with another one of those little um, music note paper clips. Let me grab this little thing. I haven't picked out my photos yet, so again, it can just slide right in there. And then I just stamped at the bottom. It's a Technique Tuesday um, Allie Edwards stamp. I just love you. So there's another little photo mat, and it's also got a little um, transparency frame here. Okay, so that just tucks right inside my little fence. And then again, I've got um, another die cut here from the London Market. Oh no, this is from the Glitz French Stack. The Whatnots, I think. And then this is just another little journal card that says this moment. So it all tucks inside my little pocket fence. Okay, you can see that again as a whole. I love this where it's hanging down from my curly cue hook to my fence. Just a cute little thing I like. And then on to the very back. The back is just, I mean, I've decorated up, but it's still, you know, just a little bit plain. But I've um, layered it again with a couple, three of the papers. London Market paper here. Uh, I forgot that I added London Market paper in here as well. So there's four paper lines in here. And then another one of those little heart journaling tags in here. It says, I'll always remember. So that's just the back of the album. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gents. There is my project for entry into the Wild Orchid Crafts design team. Uh, I want to thank you guys for um, opening up the call and allowing us to, you know, show you our work. I hope you like it. Um, 
and thank you for your um, considering my project here. And as always, thank you, ladies and gents, for sharing your time with me. And I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.